Hi friends, today I'm going to read one of the story from the book The Very Best of Olivia. Olivia and the Babies Adapted by Jody Shepard based on the screenplay Mother of the Year Written by Eric Casimiro and Kate Botelier, illustrated by Jared Osterhorn. Olivia, Ian, Baby William, and their mother had all gone to the market to shop for food. A woman approached the shopping cart. Cookie, 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 she said, tickling Baby William under his chin. What an adorable little baby. Thank you, said mother. Yes, he is. Aren't you handsome? Another shopper said the baby. You should be in the movies. You should. He is a handsome one, replied mother. I think I'll keep him. Pinto beans, garbanzo sauce, beans that kids should never have to eat beans. Olivia mumbled, Mom, can we buy corn instead? Mom! Meanwhile, Ian was trying to decide which cereal to buy. This one is crunchy, but there's no toy, he said to himself. This one comes with freeze stick on tattoos, but it has those gross little marshmallow things. And this one, yuck, it gets soggy. So, should I choose, Olivia? Look at those dimples, that smile, and oh, what a nose, said the grocery store worker. You must be a happy mother. I am, mother answered. Thank you. Uh -huh, Mom, Olivia repeated, looking at the baby. Can we buy corn instead of beans? Hmm, Olivia thought. Baby William really is cute. Olivia, with cereal, Ian repeated. I can think about cereal light right now, Ian, Olivia told her brother. I've decided I'm going to be a mommy and I've got a lot to do. Back home, Olivia's new baby kept her busy. Any letters for me, Mr. Mailman? She asked. Or for my baby, little Olivia? Oh my goodness, said the mailman. He is cute one. He is. Yes, he is cute, Olivia agreed. I think I'll keep him. My, my, isn't he a vision of loveliness? Mrs. Hogan-Muller said admiringly as she passed by. Yes, he is, Olivia agreed again. She kissed little Olivia on the nose. Who's mommy's pretty baby? She could. One baby is so much fun, Olivia thought. I wonder what would be like to have two babies. What would mommy's favorite babies like to do today? Asked Olivia. Oh, hi, Francine. I was so busy with little Olivia and little Olivia too that I didn't notice you there. There's such a handful. Oh, wow. They're so cute. Gosh, Olivia. I think I'd like to be a mommy too. Meet Franny, my baby said Francine. She's a little fussy today. Maybe she needs a nap, Olivia suggested. Maybe she's tired. It 
it's not her nap time, Francine answered. Babies just ask, act fussy sometimes. Hey, Olivia, shouted Francine. Make your babies behave. Your babies are causing trouble. Little Olivia too. Get back in your carriage. Olivia said firmly. She turned to, Le to Francine. He's not misbehaving. He's just getting some exercise. Help! Olivia, Francine shouted. Franny, come to mommy. Olivia, stay calm. I'm sorry to say this, Francine, but I think it would be best if Franny didn't play with my babies today. Bye, Olivia, said Francine. Back home, Olivia had just put her babies down for a nap when mother asked for her help. Olivia agreed to watch William while her mother was on the phone. As long as she could call him little Olivia Dream, William didn't seem to mind. When just when everything was peaceful, Ian came into the room and woke up all the three babies. Now how am I going to take care of all my babies at the same time? Olivia thought. Then she had an idea. Roller skates! Little Olivia Tree was in tears. Wee wee! called Olivia. Look at me, little Olivia Tree! Little Olivia Tree stopped crying and started to giggle. Mummies can be so silly. That night, Olivia was really tired. I'm really proud of you, Olivia, said mother. Thank you, mom, Olivia replied. But being a mummy is a lot of work. I think I'll wait until I'm old like you. Mother smiled, and I'm sure when you have babies of your own, you will be mother of the year. Good night, Olivia.